before you actually came to the office here mm -hmm. and like got working and, and everything, what were you kind of expecting it to be like? My God, like I actually have absolutely no idea. Mm -hmm. This is like a, my first experience working in like a industry slash like a company environment. Yeah. Um, for Xanadu here, um, is that I feel that Xanadu has very really like um, open-minded, so, which means that uh, a lot of researchers here, and then they probably, yeah, they actually discuss a lot uh, everywhere, not only in the room, but also in the cafe or kitchen as well. Very large office, like everybody like smiling, yeah. just being cool. Yeah. So for me, this was very cool, very cool. Great. Uh, I guess how to say this, like maybe I expected, or my impression of like industry or company things is like a bit more like hierarchical. <laughs> Um, but I mean, you know, both like the environment and kind of getting to know everyone, it, it's like a really kind of casual and friendly setting mm -hmm. or more than I was expecting. So, you know, it's really nice to just like walk like two seconds and be like, you know, Hey, Elon, like, you know, I had this new idea and chat about that. Or, you know, if you're confused about something, yeah. there's like an expert just like two desks down and you can kind of bug them whenever about it. And that's been really nice. What was your favorite thing about the, the stuff that you did while you were here at Xanadu? And then what was your favorite kind of community aspect? So, you know, work and then like outside of work, what was your favorite? Oh my God. Here? Um, I was very pleased that I could, you know, do some illustrations and colors and pretty things and use like more casual language. Because for instance, like when you explain a, a scientific topic in a presentation, in a conference or something like this, you have a bit more constraints. Yeah. But here, having this a bit of more freedom to make like fun stuff, I, I find this amazing, you know, and I think this is how people are supposed to learn. So. I don't have to go the, the, the other side or the other company to discuss more about like um, the theoretical thing. Everything's right here. Yeah, exactly. everything is right here. Yeah. And then, yeah, so this is the most interesting part of uh, being here cool. in Xanadu. My favorite thing about Xanadu was definitely just like getting to meet so many cool people and like having a ton of stimulating discussions, you know, over coffee or over like many different um, you know, team outings that we've had together. I've, I've enjoyed like the, the diversity of ideas and how they kind of come together from maybe these more foundational abstract things into this very kind of concrete uh, goal. Like the whole codebook thing is like, uh, it's supposed to be more accessible, right? It's supposed to guide you through some you know, people around the world, like at university level, uh, industry level, whatever. Um, and I like the fact that it's not purely academic, formal, mathematical rigor. No, it has it, it's there, it's important because you know things need to be correct, but it can also be fun, it can also be enjoyable. And this is for me was the greatest time, you know, like the greatest thing. Like it. Yeah, Dragon Ball Racing was very nice. Um, to be honest, the practice was a little bit tough for me uh, yeah. because we basically, yeah, we basically had to roll a puddle, like um, let's say one hour, in a row, so it's very, it was very tough. One hour? One hour, yes. Wow. The pra practicing, practicing time was one hour. Oh, I see, okay. And of course, we have, like, we have rest and we have breaks. I feel that the most important thing about Dragon Boat is to roll at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we, yeah, the, member, num the number of member was like 20, but we have to roll at the same time. Yep. And the timing is very important. Yeah. So in order to um, make sure the timing, we have to communicate each other. And this is very nice social um, activity for me.